And so the problem statement is, if a 100 newtons force is applied to the handles of the pliers, determine the clamping force exerted on the smooth pipe at point B and the magnitude of the resultant force that one of the members exerts on pin A. So right here we have a machine and this machine is composed of basically two parts as you, and they are joined at pin A. A here. So when it comes to analyzing the forces in this system, uh, just like we did in frames, we could look at member by member and look at the forces and also get the reactionary forces at any of the pins that interconnect with other members. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. So let's go ahead and draw um, one of the parts separately and just draw the external forces. Okay, so I went ahead and drew one of the parts of the pliers, and we have this hundred newtons being applied at this point, and we have pin A here. Now, since these members connect um, with a pin, that means we have a reaction force. So a pin always has a reactionary force along the x direction as well as along the y direction. So let's go ahead and draw that. So let's write down A x and a y so those are the reactionary force here at that pin now for the clamping force we're going to draw it the pipe reacting to the pliers right so the force being there i'm going to put force b here and of course we have the angle given previously it's at a 45 degree angle with respect to the horizontal so from here we have the angle 45 degrees with respect to the vertical actually not the horizontal with the vertical direction 45 degrees so now from here we still go ahead and do the static equilibrium equations that we have the sum of moments sum of forces as well in this case let's go ahead and do the sum of moments with respect to point a so for the f first force, we have the 100 newtons. And of course, since the direction of the moment will be clockwise, and uh, my sign convention was counterclockwise is positive, it'll be negative 100 newtons times 0.25 meters, which is the distance that was given. Now for the force B, it, we see that it's going to cause a counterclockwise moment with respect to point. Um, a, so that's going to be positive here, plus F, B, and what's the distance, the perpendicular distance from that force to the point? Well, it's given as 50 millimeters, which is 0 0.05 meters equal to zero, because of course we're in a static equilibrium here. So now, given this, we're able to solve the the force here from here we're able to solve for that reactionary force at point b which is basically gives us 500 newtons so this is the reactionary force of that pipe in other words each of these um parts is exerting 500 newtons of force onto the pipe at point b and now to solve for the magnitude of a we just find the components for the x and the y direction which we just get the sum of forces along the x and along the y and then we solve accordingly and find the magnitude so the sum of forces along the x direction we have a x and we have f b but of course we get the sine 45 to get the x component of that force and we know f b is 500 noon so let's go ahead and solve for a x so a x is 353.5 newtons. now let's go ahead the sum of force along the x direction so for along the y direction we have the 100 newtons plus a y plus f b cosine 45 to get the y component and from here um, we just saw for a y which gives us negative 4 so for a y we get negative 453.5 newtons which essentially just means that we assumed it in the wrong direction therefore a y should be downward here not upward so this is the x and the y component and we just get the magnitude of it which is the root of the sum of squares here, 353.5 squared plus 453.5 squared, square root, which is 
575 newtons. So this is the magnitude of the force at the pin. And so this is how you solve um, for machines. When it comes to machines, you may have multiple parts or components that are interconnected. And you could always go ahead and split it up into individual parts and analyze each and every one of them to find the appropriate forces that you're looking for.